Hey guys, this is Mr. Millings, and in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the percent composition by mass of different compounds and molecules. Before we get started doing that, we must first learn how to calculate a percentage. So to calculate a percentage, if you remember from your math class, it's simple. To get the percentage, you take the part divided by the whole times 100%. Let's take a look at this example right here where we have a jar of marbles. If we take a look at this jar, we have several different colored marbles. We have got red marbles. We have got blue marbles. We have some green marbles. We have some orange marbles. And last but not least, we have some purple marbles. And if we count these marbles up, we will see that there are seven red ones. We will see that there are six blue ones. There are ten green ones. There are three orange ones. And last but not least, there are four purple marbles. And what we want to do is we want to calculate the percentage of each colored marble in the jar. So we want to know the percentage of red, the percentage of blue, the percentage of green, the percentage of orange, and the percentage of purple marbles that are in this jar. Well, to get the percentage, we have to know two things. We have to know the part and we have to know the whole. We know the individual parts. We know that there are seven red, six blue, 10 green, three orange, and four purple. So what is the whole gonna be? Well, if we add all these together, seven plus six plus 10 plus three plus four is a total of 30 marbles. So we know the part of each individual colored marble. We know the total number of marbles. So to get the percentage, it's going to be simple. We take the part divided by the whole times 100. So we'll take 7 divided by 30 times 100%. We'll take 6 divided by 30 times 100%. We're going to take 10 divided by 30 times 100%. We'll take 3 divided by 30 times 100%. And we'll take 4 divided by 30 times 100%. What are we going to end up with here? Well, once you put this in your calculator, we'll go ahead and round this to the tenths place or one decimal place. We will see that 23.3% of the marbles that are in this jar are going to be red. We will see that 20.0% are going to be blue. We will see that 33 0.3% of the marbles are going to be green. We will see that just 10.0% are going to be orange. And last but not least, we'll see that 13.3% of these marbles are going to be purple. Now keep in mind that whenever you are calculating a percentage, percentages are always going to be out of 100%. And if we take a look right here, we will end up with 99%. 0.9%. We are one tenth off 100% because of the rounding that we did here. We rounded to the tenths place. I bet if we rounded to the hundredths place, though, we would be right at 100%. So you're usually allowed a uh, an error of about 0.1 if you ended up with 100.1 or 99.9 .9, .9, that is going to be good enough okay so to get the percentage it's simple take the part divided by the whole times 100 percent so how can we apply this concept to compounds and molecules in other words how can we calculate the percent composition by mass of different compounds and molecules well let's jump right in and take a look okay so what we're going to do is we are going to learn how to calculate the percent composition by mass of several different compounds or elements or uh, or molecules rather so in this first problem it says to calculate the percent composition by mass of each element in water so we know water is H2O and what we want to know is we want to know what percent of a water molecules mass comes from hydrogen and what percent of a water molecules mass comes from oxygen so in order to do this problem we're going to first have to figure out the total mass of a water molecule. And so what we have to do is break this down. If we take a look at water, we know that water is made up of hydrogen. We know that it's made up of oxygen. And if we take a look, a water molecule has two atoms of hydrogen and it has one atom of oxygen. And now if we take a look at our periodic table of elements, you will see that the mass of of hydrogen is equal to 1.01 .01 amus or grams depending on what it is that you're trying to measure 
but just understand that it's 1.01. .01. If we take a look at oxygen, we'll see that it's 16.00. .00. And so 2 times 1.01 .01 .01 will give us 2.02. .02. And then if we take a look at 1 times 16.00, .00, we'll get 16.00. .00. Okay, so what is the total mass of a water molecule? Well, if we add these together, the total mass of a water molecule is 18. 0.02 grams per mole we'll just say for every one mole has a mass of 18.02 grams okay so the total mass is 18.02 grams per mole and what we want to know is what percent of the total mass of this water molecule is just hydrogen well here's the part 2.02 .02 for hydrogen we're going to divide this by 18.02 and multiply by 100% here is the part for oxygen, 16.0. We're going to divide this by 18.02 and then multiply by 100%. We will take our calculators out. We'll take 18, I'm sorry, we'll take 2.02 .02 divided by 18.02 .02 times 100%. And we will end up with 11.2%. Hydrogen. If we take a look right here and do our math, we'll take 16.00 divided by 18.02 .02 times 100 and we'll end up with 88.8% oxygen. Okay, so if we take a look at a water molecule, what this is telling us is that 11.2% of the mass of a water molecule comes from hydrogen and 88.8% .8 of the mass of a water molecule comes from the oxygen atom that is in it. All right, so that is how we calculate the percent composition of the molecule that we know as water. Let's take a look at another example. So in this example here, it says to calculate the percent composition by mass of carbon in glucose, right? In glucose, C6H12O6, okay? But we just want to know the mass percent of just carbon. So we have glucose, C6H12O6. And so what we first have to do is figure out the total mass of a glucose molecule. So let's break it down. We know glucose is made up of carbon, it's made up of hydrogen, and it's made up of oxygen. If we take a look at glucose closely, we'll see that there are six carbon atoms, there are 12 hydrogen atoms, and there are six oxygen atoms. And if we take a look at our periodic table of elements, the mass of just one carbon is 12.01. AMUs or grams per mole if you want to look at it that way. If we take a look at hydrogen, we'll see that it's 1.01. .01. And if we take a look at oxygen, it's 16.00. I'm getting these three numbers here from the periodic table of elements. Put this in our calculator. We'll end up with 72.06. Put this in our calculator. 12 times 1.01 .01 is going to equal let's see here 12 times 1.01 .01 is going to equal 12.12 and 6 times 16.00 .00 is 96.00 .00. and if we add all three of these together we will end up with a total mass of 180.18 grams per mole that's the molar mass of glucose right so that is the whole this is the whole right here 180.18 grams per mole and if you read the question very closely we want to find the mass percent i'm sorry the percent composition by mass of just carbon right so we just want to know carbon in this example the part is 72.06 we're going to divide this by the whole 180.18 and then we're going to multiply by 100%. And we should end up with, let's see here. We will end up with 39.99. 39.99. We'll go ahead and 39.99%. We'll round this to two decimal places. So there we go. What is the percent composition by mass of just carbon? It's approximately 40% or 39.99%. That means that if you have a molecule of glucose, 
close to 40% of its mass is coming from the carbon atoms. Let's take a look at one final example. All right, so in our final example here, it says to calculate the percent composition by mass of each element in ammonium sulfate, and we're given the chemical formula. So in this problem here, we have ammonium sulfate, which is NH4, 2, SO4, and we need to calculate the mass percent of each element. So uh, before we do that, we first have to figure out the total mass of NH4, 2, SO4. So let's break it down. There's nitrogen in here. There's hydrogen in here. There's sulfur in here, and there's oxygen in here. If we take a look closely, there are two nitrogens. There are eight hydrogens. There is one sulfur, and there are four oxygen atoms. Next, we have to look at our periodic table. If we do that, we'll see the mass of nitrogen is 14.01. We'll see that hydrogen is 1.01. We'll see that sulfur is going to be 32.07. We'll see that oxygen is 16.00, right? And so we'll end up with 28.02. Here we'll end up with 8.08 .08 here. We'll end up with 32.07 here. And we will end up with 64.00 here. And if I add all three of these, I'm sorry, all four of these together, we'll end up with a total mass of 132.17 grams per mole. So that is going to be our whole. Let's take a look at the individual parts now, right? We want to find the mass percent of each element. So we take 28.02 divided by the whole, 132.17 times 100%. We'll take 8.08 .08 divided by 132.17 times 100%. We'll take 32.07 divided by 132.17 times 100%. And we'll take 64.00 divided by 132.17 times 100%. We will put all of this in our calculator and we will end up with 21.20% nitrogen. We will end up with 6.11%. Hydrogen will end up with 24.26%. Sulfur and we will end up with 48.42%. percent oxygen and if we add all of these percentages together we're going to end up with 99.99 which is very close to 100 percent so if we take a look at a unit of ammonium sulfate it looks like 21.20 percent of its mass is nitrogen 6.11 percent of its mass is hydrogen 24.26 percent of its mass is sulfur and 48.42 percent of its total mass is coming from the oxygen atoms okay so that's how you calculate the uh, percent composition of mass of different compounds and molecules. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and feel free to uh, leave any comments or questions down in the, uh, the comments section down below. And I hope you guys found this helpful.